Which tailor-made iron is right for you? Today we're gonna to help you find out. We've got all six tailor-made iron for 2021. Thomas is gonna hit shots with all of them. We're gonna tell you everything you need to know. Also, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, drop a like, and leave a comment, and say, hey, which iron is right for your game? Hey golfers, Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. And today we are testing six tailor-made irons, all for 2021. We've got you know, the various P-series irons. We've also got the Sim 2 Max and Sim 2 Max OS irons. So kind of your most game improvement, user-friendly, as Larry Bob likes to say, iron in this one here, which is the Sim 2 Max OS, all the way down to the P7MB Blade. Um, a lot of differences here, Thomas. This is kind of, I have the very ends of the spectrum here, and there is a lot that is different between these two irons. So in fitting customers this year uh, for these irons, what do you think we're gonna see based on uh, what you've, well, I noted from testings too? We said there's a lot that's different. Every golfer swings differently, every golfer's skill level is differently, so you shouldn't be just playing just the same exact right. iron. So we've got the little game improvement irons. You talked about the, the Sim 2 Max, Max OS. Yep. And we've got kind of the, the mid range. So we've got the P790, P770, which is kind of right in the middle there, leaning towards a little bit more players' irons. Yep. And then we've got the full on players' irons. We've got the P7MB and MC irons. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be for your great ball strikers that really like to work the ball. But there's going to be differences. The differences are probably going to be distance, yep. spin height and workability yeah. it's going to be probably the biggest difference yeah i'm excited to see what trackman tells us and it's always good because there's a lot of golfers that are out there that are tailor-made loyalists that want to know of these six irons which one is right for them and i think we're going to see some some clubs might not have too big of differences uh, but then we're, of course we're going to see pretty big differences in a few of them too so uh you got a golf shaft in your hand to use today for the iron state what are you using Yep, so I've been playing this golf shaft for the last two or three years. This, this is a Project X LZ 6.5, 125 yep. grams. I'm gonna put this shaft in every single head. They mentioned there's a range in the heads. We've got a range today from around about 27 degrees yeah. all the way up to 35 degrees. So we will see some distances and let's, uh, let's see what we can find out. Yeah, all right, you ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, you've kind of put me in charge of the order of operations for the clubs here. I'm starting you kind of in the middle with P790, player's distance iron. A little bit slimmer than past models here in 2021, but uh, it's always been a rocket. And also the newest iron. Newest yeah. iron just to come out later yeah, true. this summer here. So I'm excited to hit it. Yeah. Well, that one was a good start. That is far. Wow. was a tad thin tad thin okay but i think i got away with it it's certainly straight yep 188 total okay 189 total i guess rounding up is that just a little left just a little bit that might have gone pretty far struck really well though and the spin dropped a little bit so that did go pretty far Thing went uh, 200 yards carry, 209 total. So that's just a seven iron. Finally got through the ball on that one. It was a little heavy, or a lot of heavy. Looks like it still went okay though. 190. Not bad. That's a good ball. Yep, that was decent too. All right, so the P790 has always been a, an explosive club ever since the first iteration, 2017. Right. And I think the one thing that we've noticed as maybe a weakness per se would be that it can get jumpy sometimes, right? Um, you have those flyers, have that ball suddenly spin less. Had one of those here where that, I think it was your third shot, really took off and carried 200 yards. The rest of them were right in that 190 to 195 total in, in distance there, so. Right, yeah, I pulled it slightly, but yes, you're, you're right. Anytime you have less loft on a golf club, there's a chance for more of a, a, a flyer, per, per se. Mm -hmm. um, now, 30 and a half degrees of loft is the, the standard loft for a P790 7 iron, which is a little, little bit less than, you know, usually 33, 34 degrees is, yeah. is, 
industry standard for a seven iron or more players irons, but it's gonna give you the distance. You gotta keep in mind if you have a player that's maybe not swinging as fast as I am, uh, they, they're gonna want a little more forgiveness and you're not gonna see those huge exaggeration on those flyers. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. So, I mean, yeah, that, that was the, the one, th otherwise the other four shots are kind of right by each other out there. So yep. um, it just had the one that you had the pull, you had a little bit less spin and it kind of really changed things. But otherwise it's an explosive club, it still is. It, Provides a ton of distance, um, so it does fit perfectly into that player's distance category. So, what are we looking at for for ball speed, uh, spin, and carry distance? Yep, spin on average fifty nine hundred. Okay. And that one that flyer by the way was forty seven, so really dipped there. Yep. Um, one thirty ball speed, uh, so carry one eighty eight point one, total one ninety five point one. All right. Average, so, well, we got a good baseline to start with. We're kind of right in the middle of the range. Yep. What should we uh, text, test next? Let's go to the most forgiving club, the largest club head, the Sim 2 Max OS. It's gonna be a little different than you're used to. That is like 300 yards. <laughs> Get that one a little bit better. That one, yeah, that's, this is not a club for you, Thomas. <laughs> I don't need that forgiveness today. Wow, 206.8 on that one. Consistent. Those are two very consistent shots, even though the spin was kind of, it was very different. But. <laughs> it's just a touch low on the face there. Okay. It still looked like it got out there though. Oh yeah, 200 yards out there. You've had three very different spin figures, though, in your three shots. So, with a range of 1,200 RPM. That one was it well. Yeah, that was it pretty good. Yep. Wow. I mean, this is actually, I'm surprised that the, while you haven't been yeah. hitting everyone the same, you know, contact wise, the, and the spin has been pretty different overall, but the, the distance has been very consistent. That was a little low on the face. A little thin again. Just testing that forgiveness level out. Testing that through slot speed pocket on the bottom of the, on the sole there. That had to be a few yards shorter. <laughs> to a 1.7, that was not the shortest me. shot. Wow. So that's five shots. That's, uh, I think we're already very impressed with forgiveness. Now that is an extremely forgiving club. Like that's, everything in this club is about forgiveness and yep. distance, so. I can tell, I can see in your face, you're just shocked by that though. I am, I thought that one was like 10, 15 yards shorter. So on average, your spin was 54.48, but you had a shot that, your first shot was 48.80, your third shot was 6,000. So you were ranging 1,200 RPM, but your distances for carry were 197, 199, 193, 198, 194. Total was 206, 206, 199, well 200. 206, 201. So, Interesting, yeah. That's, you don't see that out of an iron like that, where it's, cause like, those types of irons, generally a little bit slower swing speeds, just get the ball out there yep. and at the target. That's kind of the, the main goal, regardless of where it's hit. And sometimes it might go a little further, but that's not the worry for someone that uses those clubs. But the, the consistency there in distance was remarkable. I'm curious, do you mind pulling out the ball speed numbers on even the last two clubs? Yeah. Just to see if there's any inconsistencies there. Cause I mean, well, I'm only human, I'm, I'm not a robot. I'm not gonna have the same ball speed on every single swing there. Okay, so I know that you said the spin rate was a little bit inconsistent there. It I'm was. curious to see what the ball speed numbers were. Ball telling us. speed was 131, 134, 133, 134, 132. Interesting. So, so it's pretty good. Is that It's crazy how spin was so, fluctuated so much, but right. basically everything else was pretty consistent. But the carry distance was consistent, yeah. which is really important. Yeah, that's that's wild. Um, that's a, that's a, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to say. That was very surprising to me, but yep. all right, now we'll try something a little different. We'll go to the P7MC. All right. Not taking it all the way to the top of the spectrum, but we'll go close. Okay, perfect. Ooh, that sounded flush. That I mean, sounded that like felt- a nice, Soft, like buttery feel to that one. Sound right, it compared felt pretty to soft. <laughs> yeah. I imagine compared to the last one, that's very different. Yeah, very different, yes. Also, the numbers are very different. 
I did see it landed a little bit shorter on the hill there. Yes, that is the shortest shot you've hit today, but that's because of the club you hit. Um, that one was a 180 total. All right. 80 .0. Well, we went from a 27 degree seven iron to a 34 degree seven iron. So there's <laughs> that's seven degrees. It's going to go shorter. Yeah, that's that's a that's going to be about 20 yards. I mean, I hit that pretty solid. Got to go a little further than the last one. That just sounds so much more, I guess, I don't want to say pleasing, but it's just, it's just different. It's just, right. it's certainly forged, you can tell. A lot more muted sound to it. A lot less offset looking mm -hmm. down at it, for sure. Yeah. I think all three of those are right next to each other out there. Pretty this good. one might be a little bit right of those first two, but nope. The second one was a little further than the other two, right? The, th the third one, this last one was actually the furthest. Okay. So, two and three were better than one. I mean, they're very, they're, I, I not, they're within <laughs> 10 okay. feet of each other out there, so. We see a little bit more draw work into this one. Yeah, a little bit easier to turn makes over. Makes sense. Flying noticeably shorter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Spin was knocked down just a little bit extra on that one, so it carried a bit further. But. Okay. Gosh, that's another good one. Yeah, no, that felt very different to the uh, last pub. <laughs> yeah, that was, and it's probably a lot more of what you're used to. Right, uh, it is. Something that's right up your alley there. With the, it's probably about the same size club as what I'm playing. I will say that dispersion circle is pretty impressive. Um, and looking at numbers, I mean, from the last club, so that's pretty extreme differences. Total distance dropped 22 yards, carry distance dropped 19 yards. Okay. And uh, spin went up to the last club, you were averaging 54, 48. This one was 70, 76 on average spin. You so. say about every club times about, about 1,000. Right. This is 34 degree loft. This is back to that standard yep. seven iron loft. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then I wanted to look at uh curve here yeah so your curve was farthest to the left there which doesn't surprise me because that's the draw the, the draw shape that you like to hit um the most workable club now uh, i did want to get one more time feel and look differences obviously there's a, a lot of them yeah very soft off the face that was feels incredibly good i mentioned a lot less offset but a very good looking amount of offset to look down at you know not quite a full blade but it's 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 getting there for a, okay. for a cavity back um okay. i mean you'd be the MB is going to be just a little bit small on this one, but this is yeah. definitely a fairly small cavity mm -hmm. back iron. Okay, well, we're not going to move too far away here. We'll go to the P770 for this one. Okay. Good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 187.8 total. Nice. It's a loud club. It is loud, yeah. Feels solid. It's loud, but it's, I mean, it's not as loud as, say, the Sim 2 Max OS was. What's the f uh, feel compared to P7MC? I mean, it's firmer. For yeah. sure, it's definitely firmer. All right, well, that one was a miss hit. Was it? Low on the yeah. face? That was, yep, low on the face. Okay, we'll see how this circle changes here. Had to bit. have more spin on it. it, it barely. Barely, like 100 or 200 RPM higher. So okay. it's actually pretty similar Good. to everything. So that was a good swing. Yeah, that one looks awesome. Nope, the last two uh, dispersion circles rival each other. They're both very close. Pretty good. So, Thomas, you didn't seem to like that last shot, but it was uh, the furthest traveling ball that you hit with P770. It was really interesting. It felt like an off-balance swing, but clearly there was a little bit of forgiveness that helped me out there for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, and then we talked about a little bit how that sound and feel is, it's almost, so it's, to you, is more like P790, right, than P7MC? 
It's a smaller version of P790 is what it looks yeah. like. Yeah, the yeah. feel wise. And the well, materials the materials outside and inside are all the same. I mean, it's just a little bit smaller, essentially. So, and then with the loft being different. So it plays a lot more like a player's cavity type iron. It just has that sound and feel like something of a P790. Um, you touched on something there as, as well. You talked about how P7MC and the uh, P770 look like they're pretty similar dispersion patterns, right? There. Yes. Minus maybe the loft. Maybe there's about a one degree of you're, difference and there's this little speed right problem on. with this. You're right on. So and it's funny because they, so what happens when you do these like uh, comprehensive iron tests is the more players type iron goes shorter but also is more left because it's more workable. And then it kind of gradually gets like up and to the right a little bit towards the center of the map, right? Yeah. You're seeing that trend already here. And it's it's kind of remarkable how that takes place. It's already happening. So like P7 M or P770, excuse me, there was probably looking at the map, probably five yards on average carry further, but a little bit more right because of the workability not quite being as uh, pronounced as the P7MC. So Got but it. both of them are very tight circles out there. Very good. So, all right, all right, we got two left. Let's go to Sim 2 Max here. It's a little bit right. Yeah, that was a bad swing. Face a little open. Mm hmm. 4.5 degrees open. That one's good. That was a good swing. That one's right on the flag, except for. Probably over it because of what club you're hitting. Yeah, flew back over the hill again. Weird. <laughs> 205.3 on that one. It's a good one, too. Oh. <sighs> You know how far that went? 201 yards. Ah, God. Oh yeah, that one's good. Yeah, so one of those ones that is short right, you probably yeah, yeah. have to... Uh... I will uh, remove from the map. All right, Thomas, Sim 2 Max. Um, very popular game improvement iron. I know you fit a lot of players into that club, that model this year. Um, talk about look and feel just briefly there. We'll kind of look over the numbers here and kind of compare it really to Sim 2 Max OS. Yeah, so we went from P770 and now we've got the Sim 2 Max. Yeah. Just a little bit larger profile, a little firmer off the face as well. Mm -hmm. um, it felt solid, probably weren't my best five swings there. There was a, there was, I think there's one that I left maybe a little bit, little bit short. Yep. Um, but otherwise, yeah, good looking golf club, a little smaller package than say the Max OS is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe the loft on this is like 28 and a half degrees of loft, so it's not maybe not gonna quite as far as the Sim 2 Max OS would right. be, but it's still a fairly strong lofted seven iron. Yeah, so I'm, I wanted to compare this to Sim 2 Max OS. We look at those numbers really quick, but uh, big thing, spin for the Sim 2 Max, 300 RPM higher, 5,700 to 5,400. That's Loft doing um, his job. Right, exactly. Yep. So the carry distance, that was five yards shorter carry and total. So one and a half degrees of Loft. There you go. Yep. I mean, you're, you're seeing it's everything you would expect. It's the differences. You're just going to get a little bit more distance and forgiveness out of the Max OS versus the Sim 2 Max. Um, but both are built for game improvement. Both are built to be stable at impact, regardless of where you hit it on the face. Yep, should fly fairly straight as well, and you know, not the club that maybe someone's going to try and work left and right, right and left all, all the time, but it's designed to fly high and straight. Right, now, last one here, it's going to be the Blade, the P7MB. Right. Save the best for last. Hmm. Well, that was a little further left than I would have liked to hit it. I'm, uh, that trend, I tell you. There's a very clear trend emerging on the map, and that only uh, kind of puts the exclamation point on it, pretty much. I feel like that was user error, but it's crazy after hitting the more game improvement iron and going straight to this. Yeah. It's how much easier it was. How much to... more draw you can generate right. just by swinging a different club. It's like I was almost fighting it a little bit with the game improvement irons, mm -hmm. and then that last swing was just yeah. a lot of curve. 
That one was very short. Like how short? 170.2 total. It's 35 degree 7 iron. Yeah. Was it like 7,800 spin? 76. That felt butter right there. That was perfect. That's right on the target. Just a little bit right. That might be just a touch of the wind. There you go. I want to turn back over. <sighs> That'll do. Whatever. All right. <laughs> Thomas, I'll give all this data to you. Perfect. And uh, kudos to you for concentrating and staying focused today with, uh, we got some, you may be able to hear some music kind of behind us here. There's a, looks like a U of M uh, soccer game about to start over here and they're warming up and using some music to, to get ready. So that's a little bit distracting for us, but you hit some good shots though. That, uh, and all the clubs are performing. I, I, you're looking at that map now. You can see how that trend sort of right. starts kind of short left and kind of gradually goes up and down the center. You, you definitely said like we've seen that before. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So mm -hmm. which is, it's it's interesting. Um, there's definitely, I mean, kind of looking at that graph there. We can probably talk about that briefly here as I expand it. Um, for sure, definitely notice the I guess the the least forgiving the club, the P7 MB at mm -hmm. the end. There was you know, three shots that drew a little bit on me and a couple left the face a little open. So that dispersion pattern was a little bit wider left to right. So that's that dark blue circle yeah. that I'm looking at. So that's kind of a trend that we're seeing. Um, at the other end of the spectrum, the TaylorMade Sim 2 Max OS, yeah. so the most forgiving was actually, you know, it was pretty straight right yeah. up the middle and a fairly small dispersion circle, which is really interesting. But then there's two that kind of sit right in the middle there that you know, maybe more irons that I play, I may more play more like a cavity back iron for yeah. my irons. You can see like the TaylorMade P7MC, the light blue, and the TaylorMade P770, the red circle. Excellent dispersion circle. Yeah. Just yeah. left of center. Yeah. Golfers have seen our channel for a while now. They'll know I like to play a little bit of a drawer and we can see yeah. that just a little left of center there. So really kind of interesting looking at that. Yeah, yeah, that was the, the trend that I would I'd noticed. And it, I mean, it just, it was almost predictable the rest of the way after those first couple of clubs, what was gonna happen. And again, we were, when you hit the Sim 2 Max OS, not a club that certainly doesn't fit you for what you're trying to accomplish, but the consistency on that thing, and you can see on the map, those carry numbers, those, the distance, it's pretty similar across the board, which was surprising for that type of iron. Right, very, very surprising. So now let's uh, let's look at the, at the numbers here and see if there's anything else that stands out. Um, so first off, I haven't even had a chance to look at my club speed. It's, it's pretty good. We're talking here within one to two miles an hour to reach each yeah. club, which is excellent. I'm more concerned on, on like the ball speed and the efficiency number. So that's where loft is going to come into play. Right. So if we look at the highest ball speed, we can see here it was the Sim 2 Max OS. I mean, no brainer. Yeah, we know yeah. the loft's 27 degrees on, on that one. And then if we go down to the, the bottom here, we kind of notice that the uh, P7 MB at 124.4 with regards to the ball speed. And we'll notice that the efficiency goes from the highest at 1.44 down to 1.36. So you can see that the efficiency, so basically mm -hmm. as loft changes, yeah. that efficiency is gonna drop a little bit, that ball speed is gonna drop a little bit. For sure. Uh, which is really interesting. We should also see that, see that same trend with spin rate as well. Okay. So if we look yep. at the spin, uh, Sim 2 Max OS, 54, 48. And then we go all the way up to P7 MB, we got 7,300 RPMs of spin. Yeah. Which is about 300 RPM, 200 RPMs higher than the P7 MC, which is one mm -hmm. degree uh, less loft on it there too. Yeah. But so, I mean, these are the trends that manufacturers like TaylorMade are trying to build. They're tr this is essentially, they've built an iron for six different types of players, depending on what you need, right? Uh, so like you, you know, now we talk about the categories of game improvement, kind of players distance and players. Well, they've essentially got what, two models in each of those categories. And they're all different enough on the numbers to you know, distinguish themselves from the rest, which I think is really cool. And Taylor's done a great job of that. Cause those trends are, I mean, they fit in perfectly with, you know, what you would expect. Yep. All right. So carry distance, I'm more care to, care to, concerned about carry distance than I'm about total distance right. with, with an iron. Cause that's where the money's at. Um, I'm usually around about 178 to 180 with my seven iron, yep. which has got 34 degrees of loft on it. P7 MC is the club that has 34 degrees of loft on it, 177.5. So there you go. <laughs> pretty good. That's, pretty uh, pretty exactly, close that's right pretty there. Pretty dialed. 
Yep. Um, P7 MB, it didn't quite hit. Maybe as as solid, you can see 171.4. So that mm -hmm. six yards. Hopefully you left the face open yeah, on that one. Six yards shorter there. Uh, as we kind of move up, then we've got the P770. That's the next in the progression. Uh, 182.4. We got five yards more carry distance. Once again, a little bit stronger lofted yep, by one yep. degree. Um, then we got P790, 188.1. 30.5 degrees aloft on, on that one there as well. So a little bit more progression there as well. Sim 2 Max, 191.5. Yep. And Sim 2 Max, 196.3. So it's kind of what you would expect yep. due to the loft. This golf shaft is the exact same golf shaft. It's the exact same length, same exact fitting component. We just switched the heads out. And, and pretty much, I mean, <laughs> the exact same swing across the board too. A uh, few people rep repeat their swing as good as you. So that was... We're really testing these clubs apples to apples here. Right. And so these numbers are what Thomas is able to spit out from TrackMan. And um, anything other, anything else that you notice on there, Thomas, that you wanted to touch on? Otherwise, I mean, there's clearly key differences, but also key trends among these six irons. Yeah, if we look at, say, like landing angle, uh, we'll notice here the highest landing angle was with the uh, P7MB, mm -hmm. P770, P7MC. So those are all around about 50 degrees landing angle, which okay. is a fairly high landing angle. Uh, we drop down to Sim2 Max, Sim2 Max OS, P790. We're 48.5 to 49.5. So it's again, a little, little bit less loft is gonna cause yeah, that sure. landing angle to come down a little bit. Um, and the height as well. I mean, across the board, even though the loft's a little bit stronger, we're talking from a range that's, it's a pretty similar range here. The lowest height was with the P7MC at 107 feet in the air. The highest height was the, the Sim2 Max OS, actually the most forgiving yeah, club yeah. that was 114 feet in the air. Also the lowest loft, so, so but that's a pretty loft. tight window. So that's what these irons are supposed to do. Like the lofts are different, whatever it might be, but they're still getting you into the optimal window, right. The, the right window of height because of the way the club is built, the center of gravity, things like that. So it's going to, you know, generate the right height for you as long as you have that swing speed. And if you don't, then maybe you do uh, change your loss a little bit, things like that. Yeah. But, um, Finally, um, curve. We talked about curve a little bit earlier earlier on. The one club that did not curve to the left for me was the Sim2 Max OS. Yeah. You mentioned it's just designed to fly high and straight. Yep. It did that, fly high and straight. It actually curved just a little to the right. And then if we, we can notice that gradual move over there to the left side yeah. with the P7 MB had 22 feet of curve there to the left, which yeah. a little more workable people that know sure. I like to play a little bit drawer, 20 feet of curve is, is best spot on. Right, right. Yeah. So here's, I mean, the quick summary is P7MB, P7MC, kind of for your shot makers, your players that like to work the ball, hit your draw or hit your fade, um, and don't need a ton of distance out of their irons, but do hit the center of the face often. That's the type of player that will fit into those two irons. Other end of the spectrum, Sim2 Max and Sim2 Max OS, more forgiving, more distance, easier launch off the ground. Um, those players that maybe need, you know, maybe don't hit the center of the face too often, or maybe don't have a ton of speed, that's going to be the two iron sets for you. And then kind of in the middle there is P770 and P790. Those are both built very similarly, but just different enough where, um, you know, you'll be able to hit, test those out and see which one you like better, see which one's better for your game. So, um, Thomas, am I missing anything here? No, I think we've covered it all. I think we've, we've kind of discussed, you know, the type of player that kind of fit into these particular clubs. You know, there's, mm -hmm. there's six different models out there in 2021. I think any player could could play definitely a couple of them. Yeah. It's important to come into second swing and get fit and find out which one you really want to get dialed into. Combo sets are also endless, uh, so you mm -hmm. can definitely consider that as Good an point. option there there as well. Um, but make sure you come into second swing, get fit, and make sure that you get dialed in. Absolutely. Well, golfers, thank you for watching, and we love putting these comparisons together, seeing the data on track, man. Let us know in the comments maybe a comparison that you'd want to see, and we'll. Uh, get that fired up for you. But thank you again, Thomas, for joining and providing your insight. Uh, again, six great options from TaylorMade here.